switching gears now and driving Tampa Bay forward, a first of its kind rapid transit system in the Bay Area now has a new name. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane introduces us to the Sun Runner, and she learns why leaders say it's going to help the economy in more ways than one. Right here in front of Black Crow Coffee Company in downtown St. Pete, leaders say there will be a new bus stop where people can hop on and quickly get to the beach. Today, PSTA unveiled the name and branding of the new bus-like system that will quickly link downtown St. Pete to St. Pete Beach. Leaders say the main goal is giving locals access to more jobs. People don't have to spend two to three hours taking two and three buses to get to jobs. They'll be able to spend 30 minutes getting to a job, and that's significant. The Sun Runner will use dedicated bus lanes and limited stops along the way. One of those stops shown in this rendering is right outside of Black Crow Coffee in downtown St. Pete. Yeah, that's awesome. Manager B. Koslick says she's excited for the area to finally have a rapid mass transit system. It being outside of here is great because there are days that I would love to just hop on the bus and head over to the beach without having to use my bike or a car. However, some St. Pete Beach residents are not as excited. What is the um, response of residents to this? Uh, very negative. Very negative. St. Pete Beach Mayor Al Johnson says people are concerned about the designated bus lane clogging up already crowded Gulf Boulevard. But he says he's hopeful that won't be the case. This, the way they're saying it's going to be designed, will uh, alleviate a lot of that. Groundbreaking on the Sunrunner is expected to start next month and take 18 months to complete with a finish date of early 2022. In St. Pete, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.